don't like what Mobad is doing. Mobad, see, let me tell you, Mobad is accessible to everybody. But the new coming artists, most of them has been on the queue for Neramali, Davido, Olamide. Some people are still there for two years. All what they do, once you send them their music, they will reverse, they will reverse your music to, to do their own music. They will tell you the music is not good. A lot of them like that. But Mobad is able to do it with the local person, Tenny, one day, like that. Like that, like that, so many. So it's accessible. So they saw it coming that if these guys continue to be accessible and if this guy should go and open his own studio, we are finished in the industry. Sam Lar- um, Neramali will go down. Olamide will go down. The video will go down. A lot of them will go down. Mobile studio will be raining in a sense that they have access to this guy. Even Omoya Chicha, they have access to Mobad. Now look at if the young young stars of Nigeria start coming to Mobad to come and do record. Ile Mobad Mamakun, his house will, be, will not be empty. Neramali house will be empty. The video house will be empty. Mobad house will be full up with talented artists. At the end of the day, Mobad will not go broke. Every day they will be releasing music like Kiss Daniel. Why? Kiss Daniel have his brother, cousin, sister, brother, uncle, like that, connection, in the house, in the studio. So music must come out every minute. That is Mobad's plan. But you see all these vampires, they don't have anything done to think that they will go to show. You've made your money, you've reigned for two years. For nearly almost two decades, what is your problem? Now you are now looking at mobile, and mobile is coming to crash your own business. If Olamide can do that, if Olamide should do that to Neramali, do you think you will be where you are today? If ID Kabasa did not leave uh, uh, Olamide alone, do you think they will be they will be where they is today? Like that, like that, and so on. Why? Why Mobad? Why do you hold Mobad to ransom? Walai, son won ye. Your generation will pay for it. Your wife will pay for it. Your family will pay for it. In fact, bubu banu jeli aye pata pata ati bubu ata wa online ati bubu ata and go through emotional of what has happened to Mobad. Everything, sleepless night too. Everything that we are going through, mental health too. Everything. Oh my jetty family in loru ko Jesu beni kori tuwe. Hello, host. Good evening, sir. These people are devilish people. Prime Boy is the play, is a game player now. He changed the game because, like I said, I've been shouting here. Nobody should donate money for Prime Boy. Nobody should bring more bad. If you know that this person is a musician, he could have used his money to bail himself. You mean you went to go and do all those jagiji jago with Mobad? You don't even have one naira to bail yourself. They have to donate money from internet to. Be. To bury you, after bailing you, they still come back to lie to us. They are they are they rearrest him. This is why I say don't put emotion into this thing because they will come and do good mouth and dirty mouth. So don't actually don't even put your mind. Just be watching everybody. If you want, if you don't want to mess up with your mental mental health, just look at them. Just relax, chill. Because it's two things they are doing. Once they do the writing, they are coming back to change the narrative. They are very good in that. So I will urge everybody to relax. How this justice for mobile is going is very sweet. Now you people will start laughing. The people that I don't even expect, they are actually fighting hard. Hard, hard, seriously on this death, uh, death, uh, mobile's death. Mobad is coming to sanitize the police station, most of the things in Nigeria, to put things in place, even the music industry, because it's not regulated before, now it's regulating now. They're actually working on it. Now Mobad is making them. That is how Afrobeat will die. Afrobeat will die. When they told Snoop Dogg, when they told PDD, when they told uh, all of them that those music will die, what happened? Akon jump into Afrobeat immediately. 
do collab. You can't see a con just like that. Who is, uh, <laughs> this is where Nigeria have access to all these people. Because of the mess up, the, the legend, all of them, they messed it up by killing Tupac and Biggie. All of them like that. So he actually, look at that gap. Within that four years, Nigeria, we've been, we've been having Daddy Shoki, we've been having that Baba Fresh, Baba Frayo, uh, all those people. Uh, what do you call it? Danfo driver. We've been having all those, all those people, but we are not looking. We are not. We are not anywhere. But the moment that thing happened in 1996, Tupac, Biggie, 97, all those things lasted f at least two years. They didn't get over it because in Nigeria, most Africa, they opened their mouth like this. Wow, Tupac is dead. Biggie is dead. It took us a while for us to get back our system. And they didn't find the killer immediately. And that thing actually destroyed American music. Who is listening to them? We don't even know what is uh, 2015 because we always have hit by hit every year from this artist. Now, all of them die. The music start going down. Afrobeat, the surface of Afrobeat start coming up. That is when they are able to accept us. Now, Chris Brown has to jump into Afrobeat. He's not doing it by himself. Uh, Akon jump into Afrobeat. It's only 50, 50, 50 Cent cannot jump into Afrobeat because it's over. It's, half, it's, not, it's okay. He has a family challenge and it's, no, it's okay with G unit or like that. He has problem with all, all those kind of. So he can't jump to Afrobeat. But he leave it for the young stars. But the young stars cannot jump into Afrobeat because they don't understand it. They don't understand the game. So this is exactly what's going to happen to Afrobeat. The Afrobeat will actually go down because of Mobad. Write it down.